All right, this is the next video in the Carter Building Rehabilitation Project. We are now on the building up part of things. The parking lot is still the same. They have, oh, well, apparently they're going to stop it here. I thought they were going to continue the fill on this, but apparently not. And that wall kind of indicates that they're stopping at that point. Which making those parking spaces, if they're going to be parking spaces, Maybe a little challenging to get to. Then again, with the scale of things, who knows. There are some things that we can see now, and it's not a lot. For example, the door that they, the sliding door they had when they blasted out the uh, two windows here. And you can kind of see it just barely, and that's it. So, I mean, on the other side, we might be able to actually see the, the gymnasium wall. Not 100% sure of that as I switch hands with the camera. And I have some idea that building up, it has started because, as you remember, when we looked in through this window on the Hall Street staircase, there was a staircase going up part way, but... There was no staircases to the third floors because the place rotted out so bad. But if we zoom in, we have to get up to the fence because it'll lock in on the fence and not the, uh, what I'm looking at. There's the second floor, there's the staircase. And if you look there, that's a staircase. So there is something going to the top level. Maybe. Yeah, that definitely wasn't there last time. So there is some new construction going on. And, you know, they need at least the stairs. So I'm going to move a little more this way, see if we can see anything else. Probably not. This time the condensation has disappeared, so maybe we can see something. And that's the edge. The brick there is the, the wall for the auditorium and gymnasium. There are steel beams that, I forget which way they ran, that went across to span the auditorium and the gymnasium. So there is something to show in the front, or so I believe, because there's progress there. We'll start the video up again once we get there. We are in the front, and now you can see they've deboarded another window. Perhaps we can look in. And everything still looks the same there. It's really hard to hold it in frame. I think I've... You can see the plaster wall and the brick wall again that goes to the goes to the big expanse of the gymnasium and the uh... oh and yeah you can see where the joists went in for I believe that would be the attic level anyway we got ourselves a new window that we can look into I don't know how much if anything we're going to be able to see in there except you can now really see that they gutted everything down to the uh down to the wall there. Let's zoom in. Again, that back wall is the auditorium. You can see a few studs of the wall that used to be here or is going to used to be there. And now I'm gonna turn the magic, let me look inside button up. So we can kind of see inside maybe. Yeah, it looks like they're starting to rip the Rip the joists out there. Apparently, the main structure also was uh, the main walls that separated. Uh, let me kill that for a second. The main architectural features, such as this wall and this wall, there was a brick wall that there was a brick wall that divided it up. So. 
there was some structural support there. I do remember there being ridiculously thick walls because I've been in this building before legally when it was still open to foot traffic. Yeah, that's just the, uh, that's the back wall to the auditorium again. You can see the old paint that's just completely coming off. Some of the brick that's coming apart. Watching where I'm stepping because, there we go. Oops, sorry about that. I'm looking through the window itself, not through the camera. Let's see if I can zoom in just to get a little more detail. And we can't see anything through that window though. And I'm gonna move a little more this way. Yeah, if I stand right here, you can see they're still, they're still gutting the first floor. They're, those are the joists for the, uh, for the classroom there. And if I go a little further this way, yeah, this will be a little hard, but you can see where the wall continues, where they haven't gutted it yet. So, kind of interesting. So that'll be it, unless I can see something on this side. Let's kill that. And if I see more, I'll break in. All right, there is a little something to report. We're on the other end of the street, and here in this parking lot, you can see they've already laid out and wired in the, uh, it looks like the, you know, the lights for the parking lot as you get the conduit running up right there. And oddly enough, one right up against the uh, future storage building slash, uh, yeah, storage and maintenance building. They have just bricked up the windows on that side. Although, apparently something's gonna run through there because that's kind of a clean hole for something that's, uh, for something that was punched out. Anyway, over here to this side. Yeah, I think the building's been completely gutted clean, so yeah, this is as good as we're getting. And we'll turn our look inside button. Okay, it was disabled somehow. And it's looking into the former gymnasium, and you can see up there, the upper half, that's where the auditorium began. Wow, lots of mold. I don't think we can see much more. Except that's the door into the gym. What's left of it? So that's the progress we have now, which I failed to mention was, I believe, the 6th of January, or it's the, uh, the 7th, I believe, 2019. Since it's not a lot to report on, we'll come back and report more progress later. Not much to see. They took off a board. I'd like to zoom in more, but apparently this camera's getting beat up enough that Zooming in all the way, it can't focus in anymore. So this appears to be the third floor and the attic. And by the way, it's uh, February 10th, 2019. I'll try to keep this as steady as we can, but we know that's not going to work out. In fact, we'll just you know, walk along. there somewhere. There it is. The door that went to something. Whatever was on the third floor at the time. Yeah, not more to show. They have definitely rebuilt the stairwells because there's a staircase there, the angle that you see. Because that wasn't there before. You could see 
You could see the outer walls of the classrooms that are on this side. Now you can't. And again, on the back side, you can see a stairwell that still exists. So that's pretty much the same. The, uh, the vestibule door that was immediately after the front door isn't there anymore. So, yeah, that's all we got to see. Again, we'll come back if there's anything else. Front of the building. Apparently there was a staircase to the attic right there. Again, I don't know if it's going to blur out because... Oh no, this time the camera appears to be able to focus on things. Yeah, it's doing it. You can see a diagonal step there. Some graffiti there. Yeah, apparently there was a attic stairwell in that point. I don't know where relative to the building, but that's something I've never seen. Yeah, nothing new outside of, as we po pointed out last time, they got some uh, conduit for lighting the parking lot. It is February, so they're not going to really do anything else with that. And again, we now have even a slightly bigger hole that looks into the building. I believe that's a stairwell. I'm paying attention to where I'm stepping and not the camera. Yeah, there's the entry into the uh, into the gymnasium. And over there's the window that went to the, I believe that would be the boys room if I recall correctly, because I've been in this building multiple times when it was legally open. And then it's just smashed up from there. I, I know I'm just showing you the same things we've shown you before. Plus the smashed up door to the girls' side. That, there is another deboarded, partially deboarded classroom on, in fact, that one right there. But so little of it is deboarded that you can't really see anything. No indices as to what was what or where. And I haven't gone this far before looking in, so... Interesting to see what's there. Or what isn't. Like the steel beams. Alright. Unless there's something else, that'll be it. February 17th, 2019. Here we go! We got the floor joists over there. New material. We got the concrete block there and a bunch over there. That's for the elevator shaft, I'm definitely sure of. And that's all we really see. So they're getting ready to start. And there's nothing new to show you there. I might just take some pictures and post them on Facebook anyway. So the building up has definitely started. We'll be back in a moment on the other side. This is the only time I got here where the light is just right, but apparently this door is the only vestibule that still has the uh, wooden front entryway at the end of the stairs, or stairs that used to be there. And I've noticed along the sidewalk over there there's some red flags, so there's probably some electrical lines running there. All right, like I said, we get to the end of the building and continue. Well, apparently they're still doing some gutting. I bet it's any of the uh, plaster and uh, other wooden materials that are still intact as they go along. Anyway, as I've always said, it's amazing how things in the viewfinder aren't what I'm really seeing because you get a tiny viewfinder and bright sunlight obscuring the view when we looked in that 
pole right there. What I thought was the entry to the gym was actually a uh, was actually a bobcat. But from this angle and from what I could see, it kind of looked like one. But nope. Also, I thought I saw some studs in the uh, first floor window. There were actually some uh, tiny steel truss structures that were in the uh, holding something up. So yeah, when I'm wrong, I it's really hard to tell what I'm looking at because like I said, tiny viewfinder bright sunlight which is obscuring what I'm looking at. The only way I really know is after the fact and I'm reviewing the footage. So apparently they're still doing some gutting. That is equipment there. What they're doing now inside, since I have seen equipment come and go inside here, is they're they're making the uh, conduit so, and similar runs for all the utilities because every time I've come here, there was a different piece of equipment in there or in a different location. So that's what we've got to show you. Not really much of anything new. Just they've got the materials, they're ready to start. So maybe next time there'll be something to show you in terms of progress, in terms of building up. Oh, and yes, that arch is the entry to the gym. And the windows go to the restroom for the boys. Ja uh, not January, March 3rd, 2019. That's something interesting here. I don't know if it was intentional or windstorm blew it out, but they have an interesting uh, steel truss there, which would explain why when the roof was failing, the roof over the gym slash auditorium slash wherever the third floor was, was pretty straight. I saw something on uh, another side of the building looked like a spider web through the window. It's just a mass of uh, steel trusses similar to what we can kind of see here. I'm looking at where I'm going, not the camera. So pardon the, there we go. You can see another triangle forming there. So, interesting. Also to note, I don't see the joists anymore. A ton of brick, but no joists. So I take it they must be starting to lay the floors in now. At least the joists. There's some joists. Yeah, they must have started laying the floor. There was definitely more than that there. As for all the concrete brick, I'm wondering if they're going to line the stairwells with that, the uh, quote unquote wooden ones. Because there seems to be a lot more than enough for an elevator shaft, unless I'm grossly underestimating. Anyway, it's quite interesting. Like I said, they must be starting, however, can't really see it. It all looks the same through that window. And we'll break in again if there's anything I've actually found. Well, we got another board ripped off. I don't know how much we can see through this first floor classroom window. It appears that there was no divider brick wall between the room that would be there and there. So it'd be interesting to see what's there. So as I walk around, you can definitely see where a fake pillar set used to be on the original walls because you can see where they have removed the plaster or at least attempted. You can also see where a railing used to be for decorative touch. I don't know if we could see more. There you go. Much, but perhaps it's a little something. I'm trying to hit the photo button. There we go. Don't know how centered that is. You could see the doors of the classrooms there. I 
And just so you don't have to watch so much jittering, I'll zoom out. And now we can see you can see where the hallway turns and goes down the where we could actually see. Where we actually could see the uh, the hallway as I drift off, watching this thing, just looking at. And that wall there, that's where the classrooms begin on the other side that we've seen before. Surprisingly, after a massive windstorm, everything survived. Those inner walls are literally only, what, 18 inches thick? All right, I think that's all we're gonna see from this side. Once again, we'll break in if we see anything else. Yep, I'm breaking in once more. They've taken the walls down and the uh, vestibule entry that was inside there, that's all gone now. And there's the back wall to the classrooms there. Completely stripped down. Again, break in if I see something on that side. If not, this will be it. Well, I'm going to wrap up this segment because we can't see in there, but we're two windows down from a classroom that we could see before when the building was falling in on itself. And over there you can see the brick wall that separated the the back stairwell and the window that's above it and the brick you see above it on on the other side of the door that's the exterior they did not take the plaster off that yet unfortunately we can't see anything there and again for the sake of not watching a video bob around a lot I'll just zoom out and here you go you can now see where the third floor ends and the attic began you guys, that's what that brick is up there. I'm surprised at how small the joists were for the attic. Probably because they weren't expecting people up there that often. Although if they were storing a ton of stuff, I would have figured better than that. Here we go again. You can see the doorways to a couple of classrooms and the steel structure that supported everything above the gym slash the gym slash uh, auditorium slash whatever was on the third floor. Seems to be some joist left, joists and studs left that haven't been removed. Interesting. And that divider section there where there was a wall between the classrooms. kind of see where either they took the wall down to some degree or it fell apart. I'm betting they're taking the wall down. And I do have a feeling that they they have started the floors because we can kind of see no light there, but I don't think that's true because if we look in this window, which I believe where the girls showers at the point, there's light there. So we see some deteriorated or dismantled wall there. Yeah, I think it's being taken down, possibly. And again, you can see where they removed the plaster. I'm just so surprised how tiny the joists were for the attic. And the brick wall that separates this stairwell from the classrooms. That was a classroom divider for sure. So, can we see anything else? We'll have to 
go in the back to see. Yeah, this might be a little bit of a project. Like I said, more debris and and steel. I guess, you know, and I thought I saw studs, which I called joists, and one of the classroom windows, those were the steel structures. I don't, whoops, wrong way. Don't know what they were supporting. I know it was the front, and it's where the high school entrance was, and it apparently went all the way up. I think that'll be all we're going to see, because it's all the same from here, except no fork truck. Yeah, I think they're doing some dismantling, because that definitely wasn't there. So, yeah, I wonder why they're dismantling perfectly good uh, brick. I think it is because it's going to uh, interfere with the actual floor plans. So I think the brick that made the auditorium, gymnasium, and whatever was the third floor, that's going to disappear. The rest of it looks like it's, well, almost the rest of it looks like it's there. Well, they've got started. Let's see what happens next time. I'm wondering if those are going to be the trusses for the floors. Seems to be a lot of them. And I... Yeah, you can't see it because it's on the other end, but on the other side of the former boiler, there's a crap ton, and I mean a... Well, you can kind of see it. There is a ton of concrete block, way more than just doing an elevator shaft. There isn't much of an update in this particular segment because there isn't really anything to see, but I've always been wondering why these windows have been completely sealed up and it's dark. I believe we have a reason for that, and that's because if we go a little more this way, I think we can get a clearer view. Yeah, I mean, there's trees in the way, but... Some of the brick walls, they're apparently reinforcing with concrete block, because the concrete block was definitely not a thing. So we definitely are in the building up phase. Pardon the wind noise. This was the day that I can do this. But here's where you can see they've, oh, windy, tore through the whole thing. I guess they're leaving the stairwell walls intact, but if we look inside, I'm trying to do this slowly and watching where I'm going. There's the stairs on the other side that we've seen all this time. But now, we can see clear through. There's nothing. I'm trying to find a good spot here. There's absolutely nothing left. In fact, you can see where said stairs used to go to a landing that was just above the window. There's absolutely nothing left. Now when you look in here, the classroom walls are gone. The only wall that's left is the big auditorium section. And I bet you can kind of see why there. Big beams and what you can't see is there's a giant railroad bridge style truss that spans the width of this whole thing. I never remember the balcony having two doors going in, but apparently it did. Shows you how long ago I've been here. And then there was something on the third floor, I wasn't sure what. But you can clearly see it's been completely gutted clean. The the brick walls for the classroom are gone. And there's a steel support that holds the bridge truss. I can't really show you that. But there is a, there is a drone video someone shot showing an overhead view. And here's where I was talking about the, the 
tons and tons of concrete block that exist that, whoops, wrong way. And like I said, this, this is the start of the buildup and we're getting rebar, more wood. I'm not sure if those are gonna be stairs or joists because something contradictory over there and some other construction material, I believe, or stuff that was ripped out of the old building. Actually, the old stuff is clear across over there. Dirt being dug. I think they're digging trenches and stuff because they are starting to build the walls and they got stuff all around. Oh yeah, here you can clearly see it all the way through. You can see the windows that are up. That's the front of the building, which was not a visible thing at that point. They took all the windows out. They left the frames. So that'll be it for this particular segment. See what goes on next time. Now we can see why they had the basement tarped off and the first floor. We have seen that they were building the walls, you know, new concrete brick walls. It's plenty evident here on the first floor. Apparently the brick walls that were already there are not far enough in. So they want the apartments to be a little bigger. So they got rid of the wall that was there and built a new concrete block version of it. In a way that's pretty smart to use that because you got all the holes in the center where you can make your runs, you know, your plumbing and electrical. That's pretty smart. Plus it's insulative in a way. And I believe that that right there, the steel member there is going to accept this accept or accept either one, the steel joists. And we're up on the third floor. I think the auditorium walls our gym slash auditorium walls are going to stay. They got a giant railroad bridge style truss that spans the thing. I don't think they're going to want to touch that. They're probably leaving that alone and build within. Because all the other walls except for those on the stairwells have been removed. Alright, so unless I see something else, maybe this will be it. We'll have to check the time on this. If the time is long enough, then we will say this will be it. See you on the next video. George F551 saying hope you enjoyed and have a good one.